Have you ever wondered how your body fights off diseases? It's a fascinating process and it all comes down to the intricate battle within. Let's dive into the third line of defense, a crucial part of our adaptive immune system. Unlike our innate immunity, which we're born with, the third line of defense is something we develop throughout our lifetime. It's like a highly specialized task force within our body, targeting specific pathogens and building a robust, long-lasting immunity. Imagine a lock and key mechanism, where each lock is a pathogen and our body creates the perfect key to unlock and neutralize it. But don't be fooled, this process is not instantaneous. There's a lag time between exposure and maximal response as our body learns about the invader and prepares its defense. However, once our body knows the enemy, it responds swiftly upon repeated exposure. So, when a pathogen bypasses the first and second lines of defense, the third line steps up to the challenge. Now, you might be wondering, what are the key players in this third line of defense? Well, let's dive right in. The first warriors we encounter are the antigen-presenting cells, or APCs. These cells have an important role. They capture foreign substances, chop them up, and present the pieces to other immune cells. Think of them as the intelligence officers, identifying threats and passing on the information. Next, we have the B lymphocytes, or B cells. These cells are like the body's ammunition factories. Once they receive information from the APCs, they start producing proteins, known as antibodies, that can neutralize specific pathogens. Finally, we meet the T lymphocytes, or T cells. These cells are the body's special forces. Some T cells directly attack and kill infected cells, while others help to coordinate the immune response. So we have intelligence officers, ammunition factories, and special forces. These cells are the body's specialized soldiers, ready to combat any invader that threatens our health. In our body's defense army, a special group of cells known as lymphocytes play a crucial role. These microscopic soldiers are of three types, T cells, B cells, and NK cells. Let's get to know them a bit better. T cells and B cells are the main characters in the story of adaptive immunity. They are the ones who learn from experience, remembering past invaders and responding more effectively when they encounter the same threat again. They are not just defenders, but also learners and rememberers. On the other side, we have the NK cells, or natural killer cells. They are part of the innate immune response, the body's first line of defense. Unlike their adaptive counterparts, NK cells don't need prior exposure to an invader to spring into action. Their approach is more shoot first, ask questions later. These lymphocytes found in our lymph are a significant part of our body's immune response, making up 20 to 30% of our white blood cells. So, how does this third line of defense work exactly? Well, it operates using two main strategies the humoral and the cell-mediated immune responses. The humoral immune response involves B lymphocytes, which are like our body's intelligence agents. They produce antibodies that specifically target the invaders, neutralizing them and marking them for destruction. It's like putting a big red target on the back of our enemies. On the other hand, the cell-mediated immune response led by our T lymphocytes is more like a specialized strike team. These cells directly attack and destroy infected cells within our body. They're the frontline soldiers doing the heavy lifting in our internal battle against disease. But it's not just about the immediate fight. Our third line of defense also has an incredible memory. Once they've encountered a pathogen, these cells can remember it, allowing for a faster and stronger response if the same pathogen tries to invade again. And that, my friends, is our body's impressive third line of defense, always ready to protect us from disease.